Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Derek Schmidt with Design Loud. Today I'm going to talk to you about push versus pull marketing. All right, so first let's talk about push marketing. What is push marketing? Push marketing is generally your top of funnel advertising, right? It's trying to get your name, your service, your product out in as many places as possible for as many people to see as possible, right? So this is generally radio, television, billboard, print magazines, all of your more traditional style advertising. Whereas pool marketing, that's more geared towards the consumer and what problem you're trying to solve for them. So this may be things like Google ads, search engine optimization, social media ads, whatever. But what's important is not the channel you're delivering this message from, it is what message you're delivering. So pool advertising essentially is providing value to your customer. How can you paint them in, in their aha moment and get them to their success moment as quickly as possible? All right, so I know you're probably asking yourself at this point, which one's better, push versus pull marketing? Which one should you be focusing on? Well, to tell you the truth, balance is key in this scenario, so you really wanna focus on both of them. There's a healthy blend of both, right? If you'll remember, it's seven to 11 touches to a sale, okay? So first, let's take a look at the traditional way of advertising and what is the push method, okay? So you'll see my little diagram here. We have a business, we, we sell products or services, maybe it's business to business or business to consumer. And then we're doing our marketing efforts and hopefully we get a consumer somewhat interested where they go to our website or come into our store, they buy from us, right? Now pool in this example is we've got the business, the product service, but we immediately skip to what problem we identify, what problem our consumer or potential customer is having, and then we present a solution. So. Let's take a moment and look at a few examples. So we're about to look at a commercial from Samsung and a commercial from Apple. I want you to tell me which one is push marketing and which one is pool marketing. I browsed eight sites for divorce attorneys today. I browsed eight sites for divorce attorneys today. My login for everything is pauline at paulinefoo.com. I love working with you. Me too. Red heart emoji. Pink heart emoji. Yellow heart emoji. Blue heart emoji. I hate Lee though. Puke emoji. Puke emoji. I am currently reading an article titled, 10 ways to keep sweaty hands from holding you back. My home is in 1,000 feet. My heart rate is currently 150. 151, 152, and back down to 150. On March 15th at 9.16 a.m., I purchased prenatal vitamins and four pregnancy tests. <laughs> All right, so now that we've seen a couple of examples of push versus pull marketing, which ones did you guess? If you guessed that Samsung is the push and Apple is the pull marketing, then you are correct. So what's important here is Samsung and their commercials, they generally touch on a lot of features, right? Hey, look at all these bells and whistles, look at everything our phone can do. While Apple directly connects it to the consumer's problem and presents the solution, right? They focus on one feature and they present the solution to the consumer. So let's take a second look at a couple more examples so that I'm confident that you understand the difference between push and pull advertising. Let's say I own a software company, which I really do. My software company and our advertising, we're focusing on all the features our software does, right? It can do this and that and this, and it's so great, you should choose us. Now, again, that's the what? 
push version of marketing. I'm, I'm just cramming all the information I can out there, highlighting all the features, hoping to get in front of as, as many consumers as possible. I'm probably going to have a lower conversion rate when I do this. Alternatively, if I'm using the pool marketing method, okay, I'm highlighting on specific pain points. Hey, with our software, you could save $40,000 a year because you don't need to subscribe to all these different business tools. You can get all that functionality in one place. Bam, I connect it to a problem and I get the customer to their dream state, their aha moment, right? That's the difference between push and pull. Let's use Design Loud for an example. Push advertising, we're doing radio, we're doing billboard, we're doing television, you're probably seeing Google ads or Facebook ads, whatever. That is the push, but the pull are videos like this. It's the seminars where I'm teaching down at the college, you know, generally four times a quarter. Uh, it's the free video content, the free newsletter. That is an example of pool advertising. Now, again, there's a healthy balance between both of these, but I wanna hear from you. What companies do push marketing really well and which companies do pool marketing really well? So if you feel moved by this video and we pulled you into our pool marketing, I want you to subscribe on YouTube. I want you to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, whatever platform you like to spend your time on. Make sure you do also join us for our next webinar. You can find out more at designloud.com.